what's up, folks out there? It's time for us to do a G.I. Joe Classified Series review. This time, we're going to be doing a comparison of the two G.I. Joe Classified Series Fireflies. Now, as you guys know, way back when G.I. Joe launched his Classified Series, he had the Cobra Island version, which actually still came in the window-type box, which you see right here. And now, just recently, not too long ago, they also reissued... Well, I wouldn't say reissued. They just did another version of the Firefly here. You can pretty much tell right off the bat, they are different. They have different accessories. Yet you want to hurt me again, don't you? First off, guys, on the boxes, let's take a look at the side. So the original Cobra Island version was number 21, and this version now, the most updated version, is the 84. You can see right here, they actually have the uh, comic or uh, draw, nice detailed artwork drawing of Firefly on the side, as opposed to here with just the emblems on the Cobra Island box. On the back, okay, the new version here, just recently acquired, shows you the whole background layout with the accessories um, and the logo and all that stuff up close face. And the Cobra Island version, you can see, just has a map of Cobra Island. <laughs> I pretty much just care what the figure's like. So let's go ahead and get these guys out and take a look at their accessories. All right, now that we got these two unboxed, we're going to go ahead and dive into the accessories. Here on the left side, you can see this is the most recent version of the Firefly. On the right side, we have the Cobra Island version. In terms of quantity-wise, you can definitely see the most recent version of Firefly definitely takes the cake. It has like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are 10 different accessories there. The Cobra Island version, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There's only 6 accessories there, but let's go ahead and look in detail. First off, we're going to look at the backpacks. Here we have the backpacks of the both Fireflies. Totally different designs. I mean, you can see detailing on the left and the right. It's, you know, to each its own. It serves its purpose because obviously the equipment that both carry are roughly, you know, they're they're pretty much just, they're, they're plain as different, guys. <laughs> but I'm sure that both you can swipe, you know, you can pretty much mix and match accessories in the end. We'll have a look at that in a little bit. But in any case, they both have their night vision goggles. All right. You can see right here, night vision goggles right here on the right. Now, the ones over for the Cobra Island version are pretty much bland a little bit. It's just two right red dots and maybe an antenna. You can see right here, the, the one on the left side, which is the most updated version of uh, Firefly, a little bit more uh, detailed right there. You got the left side starting a, um, let's see, I would like to say a hexagon eye or whatnot. I mean, uh, a honeycomb eye or whatnot. It's got like three scopes right there as opposed to these two. Next, drone-wise. The drone for the Firefly most recent version, guys, it's pretty much an RC truck. It's the RC truck uh, remote-controlled bomb right there, which is pretty cool. In case you're wondering, though, the wheels itself are actually movable. They do actually turn, guys. They actually turn. They're not fixed. I mean, if I just put this down and you just, you know, try to stroke it the right way, try to find the right spot for them, they can actually move. And then, of course, the original... The first version, the um, Cobra Island version of Firefly, comes with the flying drone. Uh, unfortunately, they do not move the um, propellers right here, so they're just, you know, molded plastic. And this, of course, is going to fit its little TNT, which is right here. So it's going to go ahead and carry a couple items. It can carry a couple items. It can actually probably help Firefly himself also hover because it attaches to his backpack. And uh, I'm assuming, okay, that's what it will do, make give him flight. But, of course, it can deliver the... Um, stick of dynamite as well. All right, let's look at the other accessories. Now, weapon-wise, he's strutting a submachine gun for the updated version of Firefly. So we have ourselves a submachine gun of some sorts. I'm not sure exactly which particular machine gun it is. You guys can comment below, those of you who are definitely uh, gunsmiths, gun masters. And then you can see right here, this is the, on the bottom, in a deeper black, this is the Cobra Island version's weapon right there. So also some sort of semi-assault rifle of some sort. I'm not sure what particular type. But this one right here comes with a few attachments. So, well, just a attachment, actually. So we have a silencer slash suppressor. Most of you guys will probably tell me it's a suppressor. So we'll stick with suppressor. Suppressor can actually attach to the front barrel, like so, and detach. You can also use it because he does come with a side arm as well. He has a pistol. So the suppressor can be attached to both the... Uh, submachine gun and okay and the handgun right there so just gonna take a look focus on that unfortunately there is no handgun for the Cobra Island version now remote control wise you can see there's a, a little remote control for the RC truck this I'm assuming is for the drone that's the remote control pad for the drone okay this one also struts a combat knife 
Okay, right there. So we've got a combat knife right here. The Cobra Island version does not have one. So it's losing a bit of accessories on, or kudos points on that side. This also comes with two. One, two, okay. Two, let's say, landmines, I would like to say, or just mines in general, where it just pushes that red button to activate. Now, if you want to accessorize his uh, backpack um, right here, you can just stick these right here on the end. So the mines, let's see, let's get some focus. The mines basically go here on each side. Pretty much it will, the backpack itself will actually carry all of the accessories. RC truck there will basically attach at the bottom. And you can, remote wise, maybe there's no compartment for the remote, but you can use the uh, side right here to hold his, let's see, I think it goes, yeah. You can put his um, submachine gun right there on the back and all, of course, add the suppressor on the bottom. The backpack itself can carry a fair amount of his accessories. Not everything, but a fair amount. Yeah, they pretty much go on to his, uh, to his body. So here we have the holster for the pistol. Now, in case you're wondering, there is no additional slot for the suppressor. Uh, there's no hole, in fact. So if you wanted to, you could probably cut a hole and get that suppressor to come out, but uh, they don't actually have one in tail. So here's a combat knife. goes uh, on his sheath on the right forearm. Okay. And then, of course, there is no slot, from what I can see, to put his remote control for the RC truck, uh, from what I can see on the side. But you can take a look right there. Pretty badass, actually. Today you hurt his honor. There we go. Oop. Goggles a little bit. Oh, there we go. Okay. So we've got a good fit right there. And we'll go ahead and attach his backpack. There we are. Okay. All right. Looking good. Looking good. And we'll just go ahead and stand him up. Let's see. Let's get you to stand. Oh, yeah. Stand up there, bro. All right. There we go. And let's go ahead and accessorize here with the Cobra Island version. There's his backpack. Now here, we can attach the drone. The drone can attach the backpack over here, which is why I said that he can actually take flight. I'm assuming that this will actually carry him up as well, which is pretty cool. And on the bottom is where we can attach the TNT, the dynamite. Let's see, I think it's going this way. Oh, yeah. All right, so it goes on the side right there. We can also find a compartment here to attach his weapon. So it can go down like this. All right, so it's probably another attachment that you could actually put in. There's a little hole on the side of the trigger. Um, where is there any area we can put the pad? Uh, probably not. All right, let's go ahead and put him on the Cobra Ollie version now. So we'll attach his backpack. There we go. And we'll slap his goggles on. Oop, did I got that? Okay, there we go. Let's get that in. Okay, yeah, that's good enough. You can take a look. I mean, this one here, he reminds me more of a, like, um, bomb disposal expert because he's wearing that huge padded armor. Not to mention the shoulder armor, which is pretty cool, the cobra armor. Uh, can this vest come off? I'm assuming it can. You can probably swap this uh, back and forth. But all in all, I mean, definitely, he's still, you know, he's still a very good, he's still a great figure. If you guys particularly like the Corporal Island version, I think both are roughly really good to have, actually. If you didn't get this one, you can get the most recent one just now, so... But if you have this one and you choose not to get the most recent one, then still okay, actually. Uh, I just like to have all in my collection anyways. One of each is always good to have. Let's see, can he hold this? Yeah, that's the thing. He can't hold the pad that well. Uh, stick that inside. Is it? Okay, holding. Barely. Alright, well, in any case. Alright, we're gonna get some side-by-side -side comparison here in a moment, but... I'll show you guys as far as articulation-wise in just a minute. Now let's go ahead and get a figure side-by-side -side comparison. Let's take a look at the face sculpts right here. You can see on the left side, this is the uh, most recent version of Firefly. Here you can see his eyes are quite, uh, I would say blue, blue and uh, brown eyebrows. On the right side, we have also um, sort of bluish, sort of bluish, but one particular thing I noticed is that I believe the Cobra Island version, I don't know why, I always get the feeling that this guy is using that, you know, he's uh, one eye one eye down, one eye up eyebrow, kind of like how the rock does it. But in any case, <laughs> anyway, side by side comparison on the uh, turning to the side, you can see the insignia on the corporal eye version is on his armor pad. The insignia is over here on the most recent version of Firefly is on his um, is on his uh, right left arm, right arm or left uh, left arm, sorry, <laughs> left arm. So if you put them back to back, you can both see their Cobra insignias, which is quite cool. As far as height wise, um, I would say the most recent version is actually a little bit. If you guys can see it, he's a little bit taller than the Cobra Island version. You can take a look as well. Um, the most recent version struts this uh, ammo pouches, grenades, okay, uh, flash bombs. I'm assuming 
uh, additional magazines. This guy right here, the Cobra Alien version, he again, it reminds me of somebody who's in a bomb disposal unit wearing that vest. Because that is definitely a thick Kevlar or armored vest. If you look at the back, you can see. The other one, of course, is not wearing a vest. He's just basically got belts uh, around his waist and also around his, um, around his chest. Unfortunately, though, the Cobra Alien version didn't come with, again, there is no sidearm, there is no combat knife. It would have been nice to have. This one, you can see, has a holster for his knife on his uh, forearm. He's also got the uh, holster for uh, maybe a couple more clips on the side, which is pretty cool. Maybe some more detonators over here on the right. Uh, nothing to wear on the thigh of the Cobra Alien version, so it's a bit bland in that sense. Um, all in all, I mean, if you guys want more accuracy towards the cartoon, I'm assuming that you would go for the most recent version because he has a very closer depiction. Cobra Island version, of course, was just the new um, redo of what the Firefly is supposed to portray. Both and all, again, I'm thinking are pretty cool, but let's take a look at how this guy moves as opposed to how Firefly from Cobra Island uh, moves. So let's take a look. His legs both have, okay, there we go. We got ourselves our nice high double joint right there. Uh, it's got the boots, it twists around the boots as well, okay, it's got a little ball joint on the side. Let's look a little bit at the arms, arm action, can he full extend? Yeah, he can go, he can go pretty high, he can go pretty high, he can go pretty high. Can we have double joints on the elbow? Let's see, is it? Uh, yeah, it's just kind of tight, boy, yeah, it's tight. Okay, so, there we go, the guy's like elbow pad right there, but yeah, it's a bit tight. Of course, uh, some tips from you guys who, uh, told me in the past, just, you know, Use some warm water to kind of warm up the joints a little bit so that it'd be a bit more flexible. Not so oh, stiff. Okay, so there we go. And then we're looking at the head. Full rotation around. Good joints. All right. And let's take a look at the torso of the body. Let's see if we can go fully back and go front. Yeah, okay. Well, his belt's kind of in the way, but I think he could. If it wasn't wearing... Uh, can he actually bend down? No, well, uh, so far, he's okay. He's okay. Not like a hundred percent articulation, but as far as him stooping back and forth, not too bad. Let's take a look at the Cobra Island version. You guys have probably seen this in past reviews ages ago. I've actually never reviewed Firefly in general, so this is the first time of me reviewing a Firefly figure. Uh, it's pretty good though that I got both at the same time. Well, actually, no, actually, I've had this actually for a while, but <laughs> anyways, just never got around to it. And double joints as well. It just doesn't have the elbow pad like the like the most updated version does, but. The articulation, I think, is better on the newer figure, it seems. Mostly because, of course, um, they've updated their figures uh, since since a couple years now, since the first uh, show came out in the line. Let's see. And you're not going to get much torso with this guy because you're being blocked by that whole vest. It's just one thick piece of rubber, uh, so don't expect too much. But, I mean, as far as, the, as far as his posability with his legs, I think they're still spot on. I think both of these guys can, can kneel pretty okay. Let's, see, let's go ahead and put this guy down. I see. He's kneeling. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, we're gonna kneel this guy. Get this guy to kneel. There you go. Let's kneel him, man. All right, how's kneeling? Yep, kneeling's okay. He's got his little. He's got his little ghetto. Po he's got his monkey pose. Sorry, <laughs> I was gonna say something else, but he's got his monkey pose right there, guys. There we go. Okay, now in case you're wondering, can you swap the heads? Actually, I've already swapped the heads, but the answer is no, you cannot. Now the reason being is because. The ball joints, for example, the ball joint on the uh, island version and the ball joint on the most recent version right here, there's too big of a difference. And you can see, well, this guy just fell down. The ball joint on the new version is a lot smaller than the ball joint on the right, so the heads cannot fit. So you won't be able to swap heads, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, it would have been nice if they would have just at least kept the ball joint size the same so you can make some uh, adjustments. All right, there we go. <laughs> And so there you have it guys, there is the Cobra Alien version of Firefly and the newly acquired number 84 version of Firefly. What are your all's opinions on both of these? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you like the new improved one? Do you like the original? Everyone's got their own opinion. All in all, for myself, I think they're both pretty good figures. They're definitely different in its own right mind. I don't think that the new version is just a version 2.0 or an upgrade. I just think that this one is more cartoon accurate to how the cartoon is. And I do believe that the first version of Firefly for the Cobra Island was really meant for 
what they wanted Cobra Island uh, figures to be looking like. I mean, there's so many variations nowadays. I mean, you guys can see, I mean, they went from normal to Python Patrol to uh, Tiger, Tiger Force, all sorts, man. And later down the line, unless they make like a third version of Firefly, in my opinion, both of these right now suffice. Whichever one you all choose is up to you, but for me, I think both of them are just right down the line cool to have in your collection. It's Mortal Kombat time with Shao Kahn still sealed in the box because I'm just too lazy to open it. And we're gonna face off with who's got the best fatality. Is it gonna be the classic 84 version of Firefly or the Cobra Island version of Firefly with his drone? We're gonna see right now, folks. Let's go ahead and fight! Uh oh. Fatality. Round two, fight. Fatality. <laughs> 